Hi, Abby Kelly friends. It's Mrs. Wiggins here. And today we are going to read a story about this character right here, Anansi. Some of you know about Anansi um, because you have relatives or um, have maybe been to Ghana and um, the African country that lots and lots of our friends at Abby Kelly know about or have family there or they've been there. They go there every summer. And um, it's so th this story, Anansi stories came from Ghana originally, long, 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 long time ago. And Ghana is right about here. Um, here, this is the continent of Africa. And that's where they're from. So um, let's read Anansi and the Magic Stick. This book was written by Eric um, A. Kimmel. He, uh, he wrote the story and it's illustrated by Janet Stevens. And I want to show you at the very back their pictures because um, you will Oh, well, you'll see why when we read the book, but there's a reason why I wanted to show you their pictures. She has a, a paintbrush in her hand, in her mouth like this to show that she's the artist. And let's see. So here's Anansi, and I think that might be the magic stick. Let's find out. Oh, I see a lot of water right off the bat when you open the book. They're all swimming. And look at this messy place. Uh-oh. Um, here's the title page, Anansi and the Magic Stick, and it, has, it says by Eric A. Kimmel, illustrated by Janet Stevens. Holiday House is the publisher. And I, and I see an animal up here, too. Let's see. It was a fine, bright day. All the animals were working, working, working in their gardens. All except Anansi the spider. Anansi lay in his front yard fast asleep. Warthog, lion, and zebra came walking by. Look at Anansi. He is so lazy, said Zebra. His house is falling apart. His yard is full of trash. He would not have bed if his house caught fire. Anansi is so lazy, he falls asleep standing up, said Lion. He is so lazy, moss grows on his head, Warthog added. Their noisy laughter woke Anansi. Be quiet. I am not lazy at all. I am thinking. My mind is working hard. Anansi tapped his forehead. The animals laughed even harder. Anansi walked away. I don't have to listen to you. I'll find another place to sleep. <gasps> I mean, think. Anansi started walking, walking, walking down the road. Before he knew it, he had walked all the way to Hyena's house. Hyena lay in his hammock, fast asleep. His house was neat and tidy. His yard was beautifully planted with shrubs and flowers. What is Hyena's secret? Anansi wondered. No one ever sees him working. Yet his house always looks beautiful. I need to find out how he does it. Anansi hid behind a bush watching and waiting. Ooh, I see something right here. Hyena woke up. He noticed a pile of dust on the path. He spoke to a stick leaning against a post. Pocus, pocus, magic stick. Sweep this dust up quick, quick, quick. As Anansi watched, the magic stick swept away the dust. When the dust was gone, Hyena said, Abra, Canabra, Cadabra. Down fell the stick. Hyena leaned it back against his house the post and went inside his house. That's just what I need, 
said Anansi, if I had that magic stick, my house would be as beautiful as hyenas. No one would laugh at me again. Anansi grabbed the magic stick and ran off as fast as his legs could go. He soon became tired. Why am I carrying this stick? It can carry me. Anansi said the magic words just as he remembered them. Hocus pocus, magic stick. Carry me home now, quick, quick, quick. The stick picked up Anansi and carried him along. When they arrived at Anansi's house, he said, Abra, Kadabra, Kadabra. Cromp! The magic stick dropped Anansi on his head. Ow! Anansi cried. Next time, put me down gently, stick. There's lots of work to do. Get rid of this trash first. Anansi said the magic words. Hocus pocus, magic stick. Clean my yard up quick, quick, quick. The magic stick whirled round and round. It gathered all the trash and threw it over the fence into Lion's Yard. Abra, canabra, cadabra, down fell the stick. Good job, good job, stick. Next, my house. Hocus pocus, magic stick. Fix my house up quick, quick, quick. The magic stick whirled round and round. Wood and nails flew through the air. Bright pink paint splashed over the fence as Zebra came walking by. And Nancy's house gleamed. So did Zebra. He was bright pink too. Abra, canabra, cadabra. Down fell the stick. I don't think zebra and lion are too happy, do you? Hocus pocus, magic stick, plant and water. Quick, quick, quick. Gonna fix up his garden. The magic stick whirled round and round. It dug up the dirt, throwing the weeds into warthog's tomato patch. It planted seeds in neat, straight rows. Then it began to water them. Anansi yawned. Watching all this work <sighs> makes me tired. I need a nap. Keep watering, stick. Don't stop. Anansi lay down and went to sleep. Magic stick kept watering, watering, watering. The vegetables grew bigger, bigger, bigger. Look at the stick, he's carrying the watering cans. The water flowed across Anansi's yard and out the gate. A trickle at first, then a stream, then a flood. Uh-oh. Look, there's Anansi on the tomato. There's Warthog and Zebra. <gasps> then a mighty river. Do you notice something on this page? This is what I told you to look for. Look. The, art, the illustrator of our book, Janet Stevens, drew herself and the author in the story. I've never seen that in another book. I think that's kind of cool. So look, there they all are. And there's a Nancy on the tomato still floating down the river. There's Hyena. Uh-oh. Let's see what happens. Help! The animals cried. Help! cried a Nancy waking up to find himself afloat in the middle of a raging river. He tried to make the water stop, but he couldn't remember the magic words. 
Cadabra, Catabra, Cadabra. Um, Calabra, Cazabra, Cababra? Cajabra, Cababra, Capabra? Nothing happened. The water kept flowing. Help! cried Anansi. Hyena came drifting by. Hello, Anansi, he said. It's a nice day to be on the water. By the way, uh, I'm looking for a magic stick. Have you seen it? Remember, he stole it from Hyena. A funny looking stick just came floating by, Anansi said. I can't see it now. It must be underwater. I, I think Crocodile ate it. Or else he's using it as a toothpick. I better get it back before he breaks it. Hyena leaned over the water and said, Hocus Pocus, magic stick. No more magic. End of trick. Abra, canabra, cadabra. The river stopped flowing, leaving behind a wide lake. What are you going to do about this lake? The animals asked. There's nothing I can do, Hyena said. The lake is here, and here it stays. You'll have to learn to enjoy it. So they did. The animals built new homes on the lake shore. They swam, jumped, and played in the bright blue water. But someone was missing. Where was Anansi? Did the flood sweep him away? Did he tumble over a waterfall? Poor Anansi. The animals sniffed, sniffled, wiping away their tears. We'll never see him again. They were wrong. Anansi was far away on the other side of the lake, floating along in his new houseboat, sleeping all day and planning New tricks, which is just what Anansi does best. Look at the fancy, look at the fancy house he made for himself. <laughs> and that's the end. So, Anansi tricked the other animals, um, but they figured out what he was doing, and in the end, everything got solved. But he didn't disappear because he's going to do more tricks. We have some other books we might read about Anansi. And I hope you enjoyed the story. And we'll see you another time. Don't forget, be kind to everybody and read every day. Bye-bye.